terrific movie. You guys are great in, in the film. Thank you. Um, what, what specifically attracted you guys to, the, to these roles into this film? Uh, I mean, for me, I think it started with the script, you know, reading the story. And, and, and I love when, it, when, it, when it's a true story, it kind of rings even, you know, a little deeper and you want to see how they're going to handle it. And I thought they handled it really well, where it's, you know, I could relate to this idea of someone having to kind of deal with some of their past and searching for their purpose uh, in a way and finding that through the Marines and, and, and finding that connection um, through what, out of all places, through with the dog, you know, how much she learned through this dog. And, and uh, I loved also just the idea of how she fought for that dog, you know, after she, you know, got out and, and, and what she had to do and how she actually changed the process of how military dogs are, are handled and how you can try to get them uh, post-war or post, you know, anything like that. Yeah. For, yeah, for me too, um, I really love the way it was written. I love stories where you get to see the human being evolve. And for it to come from like this relationship with Rex, with the dog, it's like, wow, you see, you see this person going through some tough times, you know, Megan Levy at the beginning of the story, you know, her relationship with her mother, drinking, she just doesn't have a life together. And like to see her evolve and go through this, and it feel like a real, it, it is a real story, a true story being told, but it's not like being told in a sappy way because you see her flaws, you see her, and, and it's not like we got to make this so such big and dramatic. The drama is just in the in the real story and in the characters and, and their relationships. So I, I read that and felt like, man, this is a great project. And Gabriella, uh, our director is like i liked her heart and her her vision for it so i just wanted to be yeah, a part I, was, of it. I was a fan of hers too yeah. she did a great documentary black black fish, fish I was yeah. like she's she, she's got a big heart you can tell yeah yeah that's a great film too yeah. yeah so um for your characters how real are your characters or how fictional are your characters for this film i mean mine is partial you know he he he, he was a a soldier with her and they did become really close friends. There was nothing ever romantic or intimate about it, but she's still friends with that guy today. So, you know, obviously they changed that a little bit for the film, but um, yeah, he's partially he's partially based on a real character, yeah. Yeah, I think my character was based on a gunny that that she um, had had in, in the Marines, but not specifically, his name wasn't Gunny Martin. I don't know if he necessarily was was a black dude that, that, that came from where my character came from, but you know, he, that that character represented something in her life that that she really experienced with her gunny. So that's what um yeah that's how real the characters were. What about working as a military, uh, you know, characters? I mean, did you guys have to develop a, a different type of personality completely um, for for your roles? Yeah, I mean, the Marines they they're very specific. You know, uh, they have a specific way of doing everything. Actually. You know, one of the things they do during boot camp is they try to strip you down to your core and reteach you how to do things. So a simple salute isn't so simple. Um, and so, like, there's that aspect, obviously, I think just physicality. But there's a great honor when you're putting on a uniform um, and you know that that uniform represents a lot. Um, it's a very, you know, it, it's a pretty profound feeling. And we have these consultants there on the on set you know, who are making sure we're doing things right. But I think there's also a sense of pride, at least for me, that I want to make sure if a military person watches this movie, they feel like, okay, they, you know, they did it justice. So that, that's, a, that's a goal, at least. Yeah, and once you, you know, when you start going into it and you relate to it and you understand what somebody who joins the military, what sacrifice they're giving, and you just get to know people who have done it, I, you know, it's like, it's like if you get, for me, like I've been to visit some prisons and I, I got to know people in prison and it's all the judgment and all what I thought is just stripped down. So me getting to know people that were Marines, I was like, man, this is, everything I had was stripped down. I just got to know them as human beings and I felt like it was our duty um, as as these actors and directors to, to really display and ex express the things that they go through and who they are and the diversity of who they are too, because you know, like, you get into labels, oh, he's a Marine, he's a sergeant. But yes, yeah, I mean, it's way more layers to a human being than just that. You're not only just a, a journalist or a TV personality. You've got so many other things to you, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> so that's how, I, I think that's how I looked at approaching our characters and me approaching my character. 
Well, I have to admit, you were one of like most most likable sergeants I ever watched on screen. Oh man, I'll take that, man. Thank you, man. I mean, um, I'm grateful. I I definitely did. Um, wanted to have the strength. Wanted to have the charge that a sergeant, a gunny sergeant, were having. Um, but he still cared. He still still is a human being. So. And be sure to keep your browsers tuned to lrmonline.com for the latest news, bochinche, and analysis.